all, I am one of the organizers of DXC Vancouver, although I spend much more time doing video and photography than organizing events. Hi, my name is Alana Mizrahi and I am an organizer with DXC in Vancouver, Canada. And I've chosen to work with uh, DXC because I believe in total animal liberation and I think that confronting injustice with nonviolent direct action is the best way to achieve that. Um, 2017 was the relaunch of our chapter and I'm really proud that we've had almost uh, weekly events including potlucks, volunteer days and disruptions since we launched. And um, I'm really grateful to everyone who came out and joined us and made our voices louder for animals. And um, in 2018, I would like to see our numbers double or triple. And um, I'm really also very grateful to my uh, co-organizers um, who are amazing and who I respect so much. I want to quickly talk to you guys um, about how our first year we starting DXC in Vancouver went. Uh, after going to Berkeley um, last summer, well, I guess uh, 2017, summer 7, 2017, I had a, a really amazing time and I realized how much I miss having local activists in Vancouver that get together regularly and do things regularly um, as a group and, and a place that we can talk about animal rights regularly. Um, I was listening to some music on my way back and uh, there was a song that came up um, by Michael Jackson called uh, Man in the Mirror and um, at that point I, I realized you know like if um, you want something to happen you're the one that has to make it happen. So I, I decided to give it a shot. Um, my thought basically was what's the worst that could happen is if you try something nobody wants to show up and that's fine um, and at least I gave it a shot but um, if I didn't try I would never know. I, I'm calling it the first year of restart but really we have only restarted about five months ago. The first five months of uh, Vancouver DXC restart has been really amazing uh, beyond my wildest dream. Um, I remember we had our first potluck and um, we had a long discussion whether we should stick to the DXC brand. After giving a lot of thoughts to it, I realized no other group existing in Vancouver was doing what we're doing with DXC. Years ago, I remember reading a quote by Paul Watson, and he talked about um, your job as an activist is to do something what the general public would consider extreme, and to reset the scale of what's normal and what's not extreme. In Vancouver, as far as I know at the time, um, we were the only extreme people doing anything extreme. After a lot of discussion, we decided to stick to the DXG network. Um, we really believe the network was doing a lot of ama amazing things. Um, open Rescue, Daylight Open Rescue, um, uh, just amazing work being done um, with very little resources. Um, so I, I, as a group, we felt that was the right way to go. So to fast forward, um, Mary came along and joined us and helped us do our first action in, at Costco. That was in July, I believe. Um, it went well. We had around 10 people showed up for our first event. We starting, which is more than I ever expected. Um, we were, I was attending an event where there were two people at the actual protest, uh, one person videotaping it. So I, I would be happy if three people showed up uh, at the time and, and 10 people actually showed up and I was really impressed and surprised at the same time that how many people are willing to um, take a risk and, and um, walking to Costco. Um, Costco is possibly one of the the most hostile place to um, do a protest and speak up. Um, they um, will take down people's photos and try to match it with their uh, membership database and then they've been known to delete people's membership and they, they would push you around, rough you up and if you try to rip off your signs and 
push out the store, wasn't it? Uh, and so that was the first place we ended up going po to uh, protest. Uh, so it was a good experience. I was glad that Chris and Elmira were both there, um, show us how um, how to do an action properly. One of the first organizers that we had uh, obviously was Alex, who was actually never stopped being an organizer. She was um, around in 2015 and then she was the only organizer around 2016, I believe. Um, um, she went to the, the same DXC forum that I went to. Um, so, so she was probably, during the restart, she was one of the first uh, DXC organizers. And then me and Daphne were the two that so sort of signed on next, I believe. And then Jillian very shortly after that, or maybe even at the same time, I can't even remember that well. Um, so, and Elena was the one that joined us just a tiny bit after uh, Jillian, I believe. Then we have Jesse, who is probably the only member in our organizer team that still regularly get ID'd at the liquor store. So the few of us got together. Um, I think uh, we were pretty excited um, getting going. Um, we have a very similar vision uh, for the most part, other than the fact that um, I uh, definitely really wanted to um, grow very quickly uh, whereas I wanted to keep the event fairly small um, so that was the main difference between us but other than that I think we have the same vision on just about everything else we decided the best way to kickstart our chapter is to have a lot of potlucks a lot of amazing food and a lot of great conversation on how we can um, get the chapters going, uh, to build trust, to get to know people. So we ended up doing a lot of potlucks and ate a lot of amazing food. Then we did a lot of volunteering in different animal sanctuaries. The first one we did I believe was um, Happy Hood, which is a great place. Uh, they have all kinds of different animals. It's a really fun place to hang out. We had a huge turnout, as you can see. Then we headed to Hats and Noses, which is a pig sanctuary. Amazing place, amazing animals, amazing people. Very, very wet day. We will definitely be coming back. Next, we went to Rabbitat in Richmond. Lots of cute bunnies. Really didn't you want to go home with a bunny. Those are all very important events. They help build communities and they develop activists. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is get out there, hold a sign, speak up for the animals. And we did a lot of that this year. This was from a December fur protest where we collaborated with the Anonymous for the Voiceless. These pictures are from our Peter collaboration event where we protest against humane me. Jesse was here at Metro Town, did an amazing speak out, asking people to compassionate during the holiday season. And at the end, what I wanted to uh, leave you guys with is what do you want to see in 2018 for DXC Vancouver? What kind of events would you like to see? Um, what else would you like to see happen with animal rights? So please leave your comments below and then um, looking forward to seeing all of you in 2018 and uh, have a wonderful new year. Mm -hmm.